everyone, it's John Henderson Pierre, the Beer Ramble, back again, looking at Corona Familiar. Now, there's some dispute that this beer is 6%. Others say it's 5, 4.6%. Who bloody knows? 32 ounce bottle, as you can see, a one quart. Um, by ownership by Grupo Modelo or Chevizier Modelo uh, back in um, uh, what's the word I say? 19, uh, 1925. Uh, they're part of the Anheuser Busch InBev family. They bought out the company, Anheuser Busch InBev bought out the company in 2012, full ownership of it. Now, got this in Atlanta, but they do sell this beer in Mexico. In, um, uh, sell this beer in Mississippi. Um, if you can find it in Mississippi, in Ron Mossport in Pascua, that they do have familiar, familiar or familiar, la familia. So. Now, if you say it might be the original Corona, which is 4.6, or some say it might be a little stronger than that. I don't know. From what I've had, it to me it tastes like the lager. So, let's take a, whiff, a look at the beer first. As you can see, what the beer looks like. Standard lager color. Nothing real special about it. Scent. Has a little malt scent to it to this beer. I haven't had uh, I'm say hot presence in this, but this is very malty. There's very little, maybe some scent of vegetables, but it's kind of very little. If it's not overpowering it, so and that. Onto the taste. Well, um, Scorn Beer Advocate says it's okay, it's 72. So that was kind of surprising, knowing they very rarely like lagers. Beer Advocate and definitely rate beer. They are not, they, on, on that, but not bad. One thing I've always said: I've never been a fan of putting the lime in the beer. I know that's very popular with uh, with Corona and those who like drinking Corona, but that has never really been my thing. I just think the beer is fine without it. it doesn't really need the lime and all that stuff, but folks kind of dig it that way. But um, this is pretty good. I mean, for the size, I paid when I paid, I paid for this bottle in Atlanta about two ninety nine for this bottle, which about the same what I've gotten if I went across the uh, the state line in Moss Point, Mississippi. So you very rarely see it here in Mobile, Alabama. I think this came out. Cool onto the scene or maybe imported here about 2008 to the United States. Um, I mean, Corona comes in all variant sizes. Of course, the common size people see the Corona and the Corona light is the four point, um, the regular 12 ounce bottle, 11.9 ounce bottle or whatever. And then the, the 12 ounce cans, the Corona and the Corona light. And then you have the small version of the Corona, which they put into these drinks called the Corona Tina, which is a uh, margarita, and uh, Corona um, and, uh, and margarita and a small Corona and pour it down, kind of give the thing some flavor. That ain't for me. I, I'd rather have my margarita margar uh, with, with what it is. You know, if I want to put beer, then I'll put beer. I know that's very popular, but that's just not something I, I'm going to do. So for the size of the bottle, you wish it maybe was a twist off can. You got to keep this thing cold, but for the size of the bottle, it's pretty good. You know, if you're home at home right now and you're watching sports like I'm watching right now, I'm watching the Olympics right now, and Michael Phelps about to get on and go swim right now, so that's kind of must-see TV on a Saturday night. 
in August. Hmm. But, um, anyway. Um, would I ever, would we ever see this bottle here in other places? You probably will, maybe, um, across the country, but, you know, it all depends state laws as being what they are. You know, some will allow it, some probably not. I'm sure Texas definitely, I'm obviously Texas would have this, and Cali, and, and, you know, surprise, and I'm surprised it's not in Louisiana. Um, I'll have to talk with my good friend, Mr. Terrio, if it is, but, um, but I'm sure, I hope it is, it more likely probably is. And of course, like I said, I found it in Mississippi. And, and again, also the main thing is also you got to look at is also markets, you know. Um, if you're in an area where you know there's a lot of, you know, your demographic, and, and that's the thing with a lot of these beers, why some are in certain cities and certain areas, some are not. You know, here we do in here in the, in the Mobile area and throughout the state. I mean, we have a Hispanic population, but it's not as large in the Mobile area. And uh, I'm sure it's not as large. It's not as large, maybe, say, in other cities in the state like Huntsville, whatever. Now, if you go to Louisiana, definitely. Texas, no doubt about that. Atlanta, definitely. And I'm sure it would be in Florida that would be this. So, you know, again, you got to look at markets. You got to look at certain places that, you know, and I'm sure my home state in New Jersey, the whole New York, New Jersey, tri-state area, I'm sure there would be plenty um, of those with, 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 you know, the size bottle would definitely be available. You know, in their respective cities, whether it be Newark, whether it be Brooklyn, Newark, New Jersey, Brooklyn, Patterson, Elizabeth City, New Jersey, you know, the Bronx, New York, whatever big, large Hispanic population, they would definitely have those size bottles or whatever. And so it's a pleasant drinking beer. I mean, to me, it doesn't feel like it's a 6% beer at all. To me, it's just like standard, I would say 4.9. What do I know? I mean, it, it, to me, it tastes like the original Corona, maybe because of the bottling being in this brown jug, but I really sense any difference between this and the regular Corona. Um, I've had this, I had this in the refrigerator since last night, and, and before I did my review, I put it in the refrigerator for about a good 10 minutes, and in the freezer for 10 minutes, and it's a pleasant drinking beer. Perfect for the time of year we're in right now. It is humid. It is hot. It is very, ugh. But something crisp and refreshing. Why not a lager? Why not this? So, um, I'm going to say okay, too. I'll probably say seven and a half on this one. Um, I think that seems to be a fair score. So, uh, which would be... Seven and a half, I guess, would be considered a, 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 a B minus. So, B minus for me for this one. So, if you have Corona Familiar, again, Corona, very popular beer, best selling, one of the best selling beers, and one of the top 10 selling beers in America, the regular, the Corona Extra, um, you know, in terms of being sold in the United States. And, um, and, uh, Marketing sort of the lifestyle, you know, sitting on the beach and just chilling, relaxing, and just taking it easy. And we've seen many knockoffs of this beer by many other companies, uh, uh, or within even those that are own that own this company, Grupo Modell, Anheuser Busch, try to put out. You know, um, you had Tequiza, you had uh, which didn't do too well, Bud Light Lime. Um, the Lime Cactus by Michelob, that hasn't really been, a, you know, been been something that I would say is been really much successful. Um, it probably just came out recently. I, I, you know, maybe not too long ago, but um, I did a review of it. I mean, it's enjoyable for the time of year, but again, you know, you know, you want. People or stick to what they know. People stick to what their respective brands, what they like. And, you know, while the lime cactus and the butt line may have a place, but people always will go back to beers like this because they enjoy it. And they can put their limes in it. Which is something I'm probably not going to do. 
me. So rather have it as 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 is. So anyway, um, rambling on and on and on, which is what the beer ramble is about. We've had so seven and a half B minus for me for the Corona Familiar. If you've had this beer before and you think it's awesome, please leave your comments on the bottom. Tell me what you think. So, Sharon is up here at the Beer Ramble team. Keep on watching. And as always, cheers! Salute!